everyone, this is Dana. Welcome back to the 40 Acre Homestead. Today we are working in the six acre forest. Everyone is out here working today. And Amanda has discovered a huge section of vines. It's really starting to pull down some of these oak trees. So I mean the boys are working on cleaning out the forest area underneath our six oaks that we've uh, trying to save. Amanda's over here trying to push Holy her way God. through all these tangle of vines. Think there's a snake in there? <laughs> Did you see how quick those feet went up? So these vines are uh, starting to ticker off a little bit and while we're working underneath the oak trees, Amanda has decided that she's had enough of all this undergrowth getting thin? in her way. So she's about to head out and get the Kubota B2650. It's got the pallet forks on the front right now. Oh, and she's running over more trees. If they get in her way, they're going down. So we can get these oak trees out here and get them saved. And Evan is pulling hard on this big branch. Ah, oh, snap my my strap there. Yeah, it just broke that strap. Oh well, we'll, we'll just uh, tie it a knot and go back. So Amanda's back in the tractor, heading over to the six acre woods now. So the boys have been working really hard with a couple ATVs, a saw, and some straps. And what they're doing is pulling all the little trees out from under the oaks, and it's our goal to try to save the oaks from all the vine undergrowth so these oaks can grow properly. Now while the boys are working on clearing out that area, Amanda's over by the fence line trying to clear it. It's completely overgrown. And this is to get over by the area where all the kudzu vines were. So she's having to cut a path to it. And the boys are working on the final steps, so getting the vines out of the trees. And then what's going to happen after we get these last few branches out of here, Amanda's going to come back with the tractor to Right now the goal is just to really get everything back from the oak trees and to cut the fence line because in the long term we're going to try to fence this whole area off that we call the six acre woods and try to get some goats in here and they can really clean up the undergrowth for us. Now as Amanda goes around the oak, uh, take a look at that sense of scale it gives you of how massive that tree is because you know this isn't a huge tractor, it's a compact tractor but still with the cab on it, it's pretty good size. And that oak just dwarfed it. So we've got about four oak trees fully uncovered now where we can uh, really get a good view of them. And we've got probably two or three more really buried in the woods along with a dead one that we gotta remove. But at the beginning of the day, this tree was completely hidden from view and it just looks spectacular now. And uh, this thing is huge. So this is the area with all the kudzu vines. Amanda's made it back here to try to clean it up. And a lot of what she has to do is uh, push backwards into the vines because they'll actually stop the tractor from going forwards. And the brush hog doesn't have a problem cutting them up and chopping them into little pieces. Chop them up to the point that then you can go forward safely. We've actually stalled out the tractor like this a couple times trying to push into the vines and it, it just won't push through them. And uh, if you see my other video I made a few weeks back when Jungle Attacks, the Kubota was completely covered in vines like they were eating it. And Amanda's got a hold of a big dead log here and it looks like it's about to, uh, yeah, it snapped right in half on her and fell off the forks. So as she finishes up this uh, little more technically difficult area, she's been pushing through other areas underneath some of our larger trees, trying to get trails cut. So it's hard to keep up with her to bring you the latest shots. We use a little bit of drones, a little bit of GoPros on the actual Kubota, some 360 cameras. Try to bring you the greatest footage from the front here as it were. But uh, she's zipping this way and that way into the forest, so sometimes she can be a hard act to follow. 
I really haven't been running the tractor much anymore because my uh, back just hurts too bad after running around. It's mainly been Amanda operating the tractor lately and she likes to say if a tree gets in her way, well it's going down. She doesn't like obstacles getting in her way. So the vines themselves have proven to be one of the biggest hazards that we've found while we're out here working. You could actually pull down a branch on top of yourself. They've caught the lights on the tractor and actually ripped off the lights at times. It's gotten the antenna on the tractor, it's ripped off the antenna. A lot of the vines are sharp, they're uh, prickly, they have little needles on them. They're just not pleasant to work around. Amanda's uh, just finishing up getting the last of the vines and the mess kind of out of this whole area here. But uh, let's go take a look at it all and see how it turned out. You know, remember before she couldn't even drive a four-wheeler through this space. And already, uh, this is just the same day that the vines are all gone and you can see a bunch of dry sticks on the ground where we've been chopping it up. So the brush hog works really good at cutting down the kudzu vines. You know, and it took a lot to pull the debris out of this space, but oh, the results are just, just speak for themselves. This is Dana here at the 40 acre homestead. We're gonna fly the helicopter back to its base pad and land on the mobile ATV landing pad we've got set up here. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great one. Bye.